everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 13th of april 2022 let's start what is the real gross domestic product growth projection for 2022 to 23 as per the rbi's monetary policy april 2022 so reserve bank of india has maintained an accommodative stance and cut the real gdp growth projection for this financial year to 7.2% against the earlier projection of 7.8% okay and the inflation forecast has also been hiked from 4.5% to 5.7% and the reasons are excessive volatility in the global crude oil prices and extreme uncertainty over the evolving geopolitical tensions fine now let's discuss about some of the important banking related current affairs Which company has been the first prepaid payment instrument insurer to achieve complete RBI mandated interoperability for its PPIs? So the first PPI insurer to do so is Life Quick. Okay. Which bank has been punished by the RBI for data breaches involving the Chinese companies? So due to this reason, the RBI has penalized Paytm Payments Bank Limited. Okay. Regarding Paytm, do remember that it became the largest and the fastest growing UPI beneficiary bank in India, and recently it has become the first beneficiary bank to achieve the landmark of more than 926 million UPI transactions in just one month. Fine. Also, do remember that recently RBI has also fined two banks named as Axis Bank and IDBI Bank. With the fine amount of ninety-three lakh rupees, okay. And talking about Axis Bank, it has recently won Asian Bank of the Year award at IFR Asia Award twenty twenty-one. And HDFC Bank has been declared as the best private bank at Global Banking Awards twenty twenty-one. Fine. The RBI Innovation Hub has signed Memorandum of Understanding. with which institution to promote the financial inclusion this is iit madras who will lead the rbi's newly formed distinct internal fintech department as we have seen that recently rbi has created a new department called fintech department and who will lead it answer is ajay kumar choudhry which bank was recently approved by the rbi for international remittance business so recently Fino Payments Bank has been approved by RBI that it can do the international remittance business. As per the latest meetings of RBI Monetary Policy Committee, what is the policy repo rate? So repo rate has been kept unchanged once again at four percent, and this is the eleventh time when it has not been changed. Okay, reverse repo rate is again fixed at three point three five percent, while marginal standing facility and bank rate has been set at 4.25% once again okay next question which is a nodal agency to implement the ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so the national health authority was set up to implement the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana at the national level and the national health authority has recently launched a new version of the health benefit package 2022 under this particular yojana 
So it added 365 new procedures to take the total to 1949 and also it introduces differential pricing under the scheme based on the type of CT and the level of care. Okay. Now talking about some of the important schemes, which state implements the Mukhya Mantri Bhagwani Bhima Yojana. This scheme belongs to the state Haryana and farmers will be compensated for the damage caused to their crops due to weather or any type of natural calamity under this Yojana. Okay. Who is the Chief Minister of Haryana? Manohar Lal Khattar. By implementing the e-vidhan program, which state became the first to have a paperless assembly. Do you remember that Nagaland has become the first state to be paperless. Which Indian state or union territory implements the Mukhya Mantri Park Sondari Karan Yojana? This is New Delhi and under this roads and parks would be modernized. Which is the first railway station to implement one station one product concept with its Ati Kopaka toys. This is Vishakhapatnam and uh, now these type of toys would be selling at the railway station. Which Indian state implements the Jyoti Sanjeevni scheme? This scheme belongs to the state of Karnataka and under it health insurance would be provided to the state government employees. India signed memorandum of understanding with which countries to implement the BBIN motor vehicles agreement? Answer is Bangladesh and Nepal. So actually BBIN stands for Bangladesh, Bhutan, India and Nepal. Do remember that Bhutan is right now observer in this because right now it has not decided that the country should implement this agreement or not. Okay, Because they want to make some changes in this agreement as for example they want to limit the number of vehicles that are traveling in their country. Actually in this agreement it allows all the four countries to ply their vehicles in each other's country for transport and cargo of the passengers okay but Bhutan is very much concerned about its environmental issues that's why it wants that the number of vehicles that are traveling to our country should be limited that's why it has not signed the agreement yet hence it is currently the observer in this fine so the country's names are quite important next question which institution recently launched the AUSAR scheme? AUSAR stands for Airport as Venue for Skilled Artisans of the Region. Okay, so recently the Airport Authority of India has launched AUSAR scheme and it aims to allocate space to the self help groups at its airport for selling or showcasing the self made products of their region. So, under this scheme, an area of 100 to 200 square feet has been earmarked at each airport authority of India operated airport for this purpose. Okay. Now talking about some of the important airports that were in news, which airport won the COVID champion award at Wings India 2022 event. So recently Cochin International Airport has won this and Wings India was held at Hyderabad. What is the target set by India? for establishing the new airports by 2025. So we will establish new 220 airports by 2025. Which company recently took over the management of Jaipur International Airport? It has been taken over by Adani Group. How many airports have received international recognition for reducing the carbon emission level as per the standards set by ACI grading? So total four airports have received this recognition to do so and which are these four airports? First is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport which lies in Kolkata. Second is Viju Patnaik International Airport in Bhubaneswar in the state of Odisha. Third is Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport in Varanasi. And fourth is Trivendram International Airport in the state of Kerala. Okay. What is the name of India's first biometric based digital processing system in the airports? So the name of this system is Digi Yatra. Fine. What is the minimum annual passenger traffic to be declared as a major airport in India? 
So government of India can declare any airport as the major airport if it has an annual passenger traffic of at least 35 lakh people annually. Okay. So recently what happened is government of India has declared airport of Srinagar as the major airport. And this is done under the ERA Act of 2008. Next question. Who is the head of the animation, visual effect, gaming and comic promotion task force? So Ministry of Information and Broadcasting constituted this ABGC promotion task force which will recommend a national curriculum framework for the higher studies in this segment. Okay. So this ABGC promotion task force will be headed by the Secretary of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and it will have the secretaries of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Electronics and IT and DPIIT. Okay. Now talking about some of the recent appointments, who is the head of the SEBI committee on strengthening of governance norms at stock exchanges. So the SEBI has chosen G Mahalingam as the head of this particular committee. The Chartered Accountants Bill seeks to set up a coordination committee headed by whom? So under this bill, a coordination committee would be set up and it would be headed by the Secretary of Corporate Affairs. SBI appointed who to the position of Group Head of Digital Banking at the level of Deputy MD. This is Mr. Nitin Chug. Who is the head of the task force set up to look into the cases of suicide in the Central Armed Police Forces? Answer is VSK Komudi IPS. Who was recently named as the new head of the National E-Government Division? Answer is Mr. Abhishek Singh. Who is the head of the Apex Committee that will guide the G20 Secretariat established in India? So obviously in 2023, India would be president of G20. For this purpose, a Secretariat has been established which would be headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Okay. Currently, who is the president of G20? Answer is Indonesia. And talking about BRICS, for this year, China is the president of BRICS and last year, India was the president of BRICS, okay? And which are the member countries under BRICS? Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. South Africa is the latest country to join this organization, okay? Next question. Which institution released the Expanding Heat Resilience Report? So Natural Resources Defense Council, that is NRDC, has authored the Expanding Heat Resilience Report. And as per this report, extreme temperatures are being recorded in Himachal Pradesh and in Kerala. And the shocking thing is, these are the states with no history of heat waves. So the number of states affected by heat waves was at 28 in 2019. And this is up from 19 in 2018. Okay. Simply you have to remember that this report belonged to NRDC. Let's see some of the important rankings. Which Indian billionaire topped the Huron richest self-made woman in the world 2022 in the country? Answer is Falguni Nair from Naiga. Actually, three Indian women have been featured in the latest Huron list of women self-made billionaires. Who are these? First is Falguni Nair. Second is Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. And third is Radha Vimbu. Okay. Who topped the 2022 M3M Huron Global Rich List issued by Huron Indian Associated with Reality, which is a kind of research and luxury publication group? Answer is Elon Musk. And he is also the CEO of Tesla. Which country topped the medal tally in the ISSF World Cup 2022? So India has topped this championship and this event was organized at Cairo in Egypt. So total we have won 7 medals in which 4 were gold, 2 were silver and 1 was bronze. So after India, second country in this medal tally was Norway and third was France. Which state topped the list at the national level in full immunization coverage? This is the state Odisha. 
which country topped the medal tally in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. So Norway has topped the medal tally of Beijing Winter Olympics and top five countries were first is Norway, then second is Germany, after that China, USA and then Sweden. Malkangiri, which topped the most improved aspirational district in agriculture and water resources sector, is in which state? So Malkangiri is the aspirational district that has improved a lot in agriculture sector and it lies in the state of Odisha. Next question, which organization flight tested the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster? So DRDO has flight tested the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster at the integrated test range Chandipur of the coast of Odisha. So SFDR based propulsion enables the missile to intercept aerial threats at very long range even at supersonic speed and this has been developed by DRDO Defense Research and Development Laboratory Hyderabad and in collaboration with other DRDO laboratories. Okay, Talking about some of the important space related current affairs which organization recently flight tested the medium range surface to air missiles? Answer is DRDO. Which country has successfully tested an autism early screening tool for the children? This country is Australia. Which country successfully flight tested stand off anti tank missile? Answer is India. Which country successfully tested the Zircon hypersonic cruise missile from submarine? This hypersonic missile belong to the country Russia. Vasong 8 which was seen in the news recently is a new hypersonic missile tested by which country? So Vasong 8 belong to North Korea. Which institution has successfully flight tested indigenously developed man portable anti-tank guided missile? Again answer is DRDO. Which country's space agency has flight tested a reusable suborbital space vehicle recently? Answer is the country China. Keywords are very very important. Next question. Which country supplies MH60 Romeo multi-role helicopters to India? So India is procuring 24 MH60 Romeo multi-role helicopters as part of an 15,000 crore rupees deal with the US government. And the first batch of the air crew of the Indian Navy has completed its training in the US to operate these MH60 multi-role helicopters. So these helicopters are manufactured by Lockheed Martin Corporation and it is an all-weather helicopter designed to support multiple mission. Okay. Talking about some of the important international current affairs, Ketan G. Brown Jackson, who was seen in the news recently, is the first black woman justice to serve in the Supreme Court of which country? So she is the first black woman justice to serve in the Supreme Court of USA. Which country's astronomers have detected HD1 galaxy, the distant astronomical object ever discovered? Answer is USA once again. Which country launched the Earth Observation Satellite Gofane 303? So yesterday we have covered this question in a detailed manner. So if anyone wants to cover it thoroughly, you can refer to that lecture. Answer is China. Jumpstart our legal immigration system act is associated with which country? It is related to USA. Khanjar is a joint special forces exercise held between India and which other country? Khanjar is the exercise between India and Kyrgyzstan. Which is the host country of COP28 climate summit 2023? Answer is the country UAE. Next question. What percent of the domestic capital procurement budget is earmarked for the private industries? So the defense ministry has announced that 25% of the domestic capital procurement budget amounting to more than 21,000 crore rupees will be earmarked for private industries in the financial year of 2022 to 23 and 1500 crore rupees will be earmarked for procurement from the startup. So basically Ministry of Defense had earlier decided to earmark 68% of the capital procurement budget for the entire domestic industry during the financial year of 2020 to 23. Fine. Coming to the question slide, which organization launched 
द फर्स्ट फुली प्राइवेट एस्ट्रोनॉट मिशन टू द इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन दिस इज स्पेस एक्स वैगन ग्रुप इज अ प्राइवेट मिलिट्री कंपनी ऑफ विच कंपनी सो रिसेंटली दिस ग्रुप वॉज सीन एज एक्टिव इन द ईस्टर्न यूक्रेन एंड दिस इज अ प्राइवेट मिलिट्री कंपनी ऑफ रशिया एम्बिट फिनवेस्ट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हैज पार्टनर्ड विद विच बैंक टू प्रोवाइड फिनेंशियल क्रेडिट सपोर्ट टू द एम एस एम ईज आंसर इज यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया विच बैंक रिसीव द बेस्ट प्राइवेट बैंक इन इंडिया अवार्ड एट द प्रोफेशनल वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट ग्लोबल प्राइवेट बैंकिंग अवार्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन आई हैव एच डी एफ सी बैंक विच कंपनी कोलाबरेटेड विथ ह्यूगस कम्युनिकेशन इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टू प्रोवाइड सेटेलाइट ब्रॉडबैंड सर्विसेज इन इंडिया दिस कंपनी इज भारती एयरटेल विच प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक इन इंडिया इनिशियली स्टार्टेड एज अ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट एंटरप्राइज प्रोवाइडिंग माइक्रो लोन्स टू द अंडर प्रिवलेज सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी आंसर इज बंधन बैंक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which state government launched the corruption free application 1064 So Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched the corruption free Uttarakhand app 1064 and this application aims to make the state corruption free and ensure that governance in the state is carried out in a transparent manner So this application will be available in both Hindi and English Correct answer is Uttarakhand Let's see some of the applications that are important. New is the name of a super application of which Indian conglomerate? Answer is Tata Group. Dishank is a land digitization application of which Indian state? This is the application of Karnataka and under it lands are to make digital. Which bank has established a Surya Shakti cell to process the solar power loan applications? Answer is the State Bank of India. Which bank recently launched an application that enables the differently abled employee to track and effectively follow up with a special mention account? Answer is Punjab National Bank. Bharsha Sangam is a new application to be launched by which union ministry? Bharsha Sangam is an application of Ministry of Education. What is the name of the application launched by the Union Shipping Ministry to promote the transparency in port related? information the name of this application is my port okay next question which is the first hindi novel to be shortlisted for the international booker prize so the book tome of stand became the first hindi language work of fiction to be shortlisted for the international booker prize and author of this novel is geetanjali shri okay so this book translated into english by daisy rockwell will compete with five other titles from around the world for the prestigious 50000 pound literacy prize which is shared between the author and the translator fine talking about some of the important awards who is the winner of the stockholm water prize 2022 answer is wilfried brutsat who has been awarded the abel prize 2022 abel prize has been given to dennis parnell sullivan and abel prize is given in the field of mathematics who is the winner of the 2022 pritzker prize answer is diabedo francis kerr which state won the first prize in the third national water awards 2020 in the best state category first prize has been given to the state of uttar pradesh at the third national water awards which indian has become the third woman to receive the 2021 dst ictp imu ramanujan prize answer is very famous neena gupta okay now let us start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this means that sana signing off